A hugely impressive new image model has just been released called Flux One. You can start using this right away in your automations and I'm going to show you exactly how. As you can see here, it's coming up with some really detailed and realistic imagery. It's quite impressive in terms of text rendering. You can see another example here. It's able to create some really detailed compositions and it can get human features and hands right. There are lots of different places that you can get access to this online. Links are in the description and I'm not sponsored by any of these. It comes in three different versions. I'm going to show you the best one, which is the pro version. Dev and Schnell are open weight and open source. Schnell meaning fast in German. And I'll also compare those a little bit later on. If you have a powerful enough computer, you can even run these locally. But for now, we'll run this via the API. I'm going to use fal.ai. I created a free account and got around $12 free credit without even having to put in a credit card. So you can just go to Flux One Pro and we're just going to start testing out some prompts. When we're using AI images in our automations, we really want to make sure that the image's quality is consistently high. And you're not always going to get that with AI images, but it's good to do it as much as possible. Um, I'm going to zoom in a bit just so you can see this. And for the first time round, I'm not going to speed things up just so you see how long it takes to run the pro version. I'm going to start with a pretty basic uh, prompt. A beautiful kitchen. And this is, this would just be like a replacement for maybe like a replacement for a stock photo in a blog post or on a social media post or something. And I'm running this and I'm not going to speed it up just so you can see how long it takes to run the pro version. So there you go. That's a really impressive image. And if you're looking at that at first glance, especially if you're not looking out for AI giveaways, then that looks very realistic, even when we zoom it in a bit here. Now I'm going to fulfill a stereotype here. Um, I'm saying a 30 year old man drinking a pub in Dublin. That's Dublin, Ireland. Yeah, that's a very impressive photo. I'll get more specific with the prompt. A 30 year, man, a 30 year old man sitting outside a pub drinking a pint in Dublin. The hands are good. The drink looks good. You know, this is an impressive image for such a ridiculously basic prompt. Also, Flux One seems to have far less restrictions than you would see in other image models. So I have a prompt here, which is a detailed 3D photo of Super Mario holding up a sign with the words, Hello Bob. So we're testing out here the text generation capabilities, as well as its ability to generate an image of a character. <laughs> there we go, very good. The text is really good. It's exactly as it should be. And the image of Mario itself is pretty much impeccable. Of course, this is some basic text. It's not always going to come out perfect. Like if I ask it to, you know, output an image of the periodic table. Pure, I, oh, I, I can't even get the text right there. And I don't remember a massive amount from chemistry class, but that does not look right to me. So yeah, we have to be pretty reasonable about what we expect from the text generation. With more comprehensive prompting, perhaps we can stretch the capabilities of the, the text generation, but for a basic prompt and with something very complex like that, it will not work. Next up, I'm going to test it generating photos of real people. And I'm also going to generate, or I'm also going to test how their hands come out as well while I'm doing that. This is uh, Taylor Swift and Dwayne Johnson kind of look like each other. Justin Bieber, not so much. The results vary a lot in this. Finger not great there. <laughs> but I'll give that another go just to see. This is one of the areas where I've found the least amount of consistency. Sometimes the results are really good and sometimes not so good. Right. At first glance, two of these actually look like the celebrities. The other one in the middle, kind of not so much. Lastly, I'll just try and generate a kind of a relatively generic AI related image. A robot in an office working on a spreadsheet. All right, so that's pretty impressive and kind of terrifying at the same time. I tried to test kind of similar images in Dolly 3 and the the kind of stuff that was shown up on the screen was usually complete garbage. This one at first glance kind of looks like a computer application. So in terms of cost for this model on fal.ai, it costs five cents per megapixel. For one dollar, you can run this model approximately 20 times. You get about 20 images per dollar on that. On the fast version, Chanel, you can see that that is quite a bit cheaper. 
and 0.3 of a cent per megapixel. I'll just run the Schnell version. You can see how fast it is. There we go. Very fast indeed. I'll run it again. In fact, I've just copied and pasted in one of the prompts from earlier. And that's also quite impressive. I'll generate it again. Yeah, not quite as good as the Pro version, but still very decent. Run one more time. Yeah, again, possibly very usable imagery in certain contexts. I would still go with the Pro version. Try and use this other prompt that I used earlier as well. Yeah, that's, that image is also very decent. Uh, he's drinking with a straw. The text is quite off. Hands are slightly weird, but it's not a bad image. I'll run that again. Very decent image again. This is quite realistic. So while also being way faster, the Schnell version is way cheaper. So that could be very usable for your use cases. Okay, so let's use this in an actual automation. I'm using make.com to build out an automation visually here. I've already covered this system in a previous video, which I'll link below. This is a system that will draft social media messages and images. What it's doing is it's listening out for links to articles on a private Slack channel. Then when it receives those, it crawls the website, creates a bunch of different messages for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and so on, then grabs an image and then it adds it to this Airtable record. You then review those and then it publishes that to as many social networks as you want. I previously used Dolly 3 from OpenAI to create the images for this system, but I've updated it to use Flux1 Pro. How you do that, you go and create your account on Flux1 Pro, go to keys up here, then you can copy out your API key. Then you just create a HTTP request, add in this URL, whoops, zoom in, add in this URL as you see here, create a post method, authorization, then type key and copy and paste in the API key. You select body type raw, content type JSON. This automation then constructs an image prompt based on the article summary. And then we will pass that to the image model, like you see here. So I'll press OK. Again, if you don't fully understand that, then check out the link in the description where I go through creating this from scratch. So let's test this out. I'm just going to copy and paste in a link to an article that we see here. And then I'm going to run the automation. It's now making the image request. Okay, that's done. Let's go back to Airtable. And now we have a new record here, which looks like so. And the image looks like this. It was based off a pretty basic prompt, a photorealistic image of AI automation in the workplace. In this case, you could have somebody on your team that's going through these, might update this image if necessary. And then when finished, change this to publish the social status, and then goes through this automation, publishes those to social media, along with the image that was generated from Flux1. I'll just quickly add this to one more automation, which is I have a test website set up here, and this article was just quickly generated, and I generated this using Dolly3 from OpenAI. I'm going to run an updated version of this article update system that we covered in a previous video, but use Flux1 for images instead. So I just copy and paste in this URL into my spreadsheet. I'll then run this automation. In this case, I'm getting it to actually replace the featured image. So the image was created successfully, and then this automation is going to automatically upload that to WordPress. So that's now completed. I go back to my spreadsheet and it has updated the spreadsheet and added in the post link, said that it's complete. And there we go. That is the updated image. That was what it was previously with Dolly 3 with minimal prompting. And this is a much upgraded version using Flux 1. You might be able to get this level of quality from Dolly 3. In this case, I got this from Flux 1 with minimal prompting. And the automation then did some other stuff like improve the article and add in a YouTube video. Again, check out the link in the description if you want to see more of that. This was just a quick rundown of using Flux 1, but I'm quite impressed so far. We're probably going to be using this a lot more in our automations. So if you want to see more, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get access to all of our automations, then check out the link in the description to our community.
Thanks for watching.